Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about is magic more expensive? Um, so you can look at it in many different ways. You can look at it from a booster pack or a booster pack more expensive and the answer to that simple is yes, they are more expensive, but if you just adjust, adjust for inflation, maybe they're not. Um, but if you look at the decks and you look at standard, so I really want to focus on standard. I think modern is a good place to um, pick up a deck right now to kind of diversify and not have to purchase so many new decks. The problem with standard right now is that the rotation is going to be something I haven't seen before. So when previously I've always been like, oh, free sets, okay, there's a pattern, right? Then you can recognize a pattern of when you should get rid of stuff and when the cards you should buy the stuff and when you should sell the stuff. Now it's very different. And I've noticed a pattern, maybe it's because the fetch lands are doing something kind of weird because fetch lands are eternal. But the majority of cards that are in standard are not going to be modern playable. Just, that's just the truth. Uh, out of these Shadows Over Innistrad set, Avacyn is $50. Is she modern playable? I would argue no. At five, that's very aggressive. That's very high for a curve. At five, essentially, I want a card just to win, straight up win. Um, and I don't believe Avacyn does enough to justify her position in modern at five. If she was less at four, yeah, I, I, absolutely. You have Bane Slayer Angel, and she was very good, but she sees very limited modern play, right, currently. So uh, I'm kind of skeptical of standard right now, and I'll, I will still draft. I love drafting. Drafting is really fun. I will still do seal, toolkits, fat pack, wars, whatever. But the standard format, I'm, I'm less impressed with because I don't know what going to two rotation means. So we just rotated out of Karns of Tarkir and Fate, um, and that was the first time we rotated like that. And the, I, I, I don't know how to express it, but the patterns of what happened was very different. Um, I don't know if it's going to be mimicked again when. So Adric Moon's coming out, pre we just had Shadows of Rain Strat, we just had a rotation. Uh, we'll get Adric Moon a few months from now, and then we'll get another set a few months from that. And then within the same year, I believe, we rotate out the, uh, Dragons and Origins. That's pretty crazy. And then two sets later, we rotate out again. And two sets later, we rotate out again. So the rotation, in my opinion, is affecting my current buying habits and my willingness to put money into standard. Uh, mainly because uh, obviously when it rotates out, the majority of cards, 95% of card, I mean, fetch lines are the exception. They are not, you know, they're not, that's not happening for every single land base, I can tell you, that's rotating out. Um, and I just feel like, mm, you know, I'm going to wait on standard. I'm going to figure out how expensive standard will be. And even if a deck in standard is like a, let's say is instead of $500 and it's $400, if that deck rotates 50% more, 50% uh, uh, faster, because there's one less set, you're actually paying $600 of, you're losing utility of that deck that you normally would have. Um, so you actually pay more. So even if the deck gets cheaper, which the decks have not seemed to get cheaper, you're losing the playability of that deck. And it's not just the cards that are going to rotate out. That entire deck can go away if a certain card rotates. So if the card that you really needed was a Draina for your vampire decks, or no, let's not say Draina. Let's take uh, Dragon Lord Drute, and he rotates out. That whole deck could be dead, right? That whole deck could be irrelevant because they relied so heavily. I'm just using that as an example. I'm trying to think of a um, maybe a. Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm trying to think of a card and that's so dominant and... Oh, okay, Jace. There we go. Obviously, Jace. Baby Jace. If Baby Jace rotates out in the next set and you were playing a deck that had him, you lose a tremendous... You're going to take a hit. And you might say Baby Jace is playable in modern, but he's not $80 playable in modern. I mean, what's $80 in modern? Like, Tomagoyf, maybe? I, I'm, I don't know of anything really that price point or more. Yeah, it's really hard for me to think of card because even uh, Mox Opal is like 50, right? And that's in the number one deck played as a four of and it's the mythic that you want to get in that deck. So anyway, that's it. Bye guys.